In the previous video, I did a brief introduction of how to inspect uh, user crash dumps using Cerbero Suite. This time around, we're going to look at uh, kernel crash dumps. Uh, this kernel crash dump I, I created myself. The way I did it, I executed this command on a Windows 10 system and it resulted in service host, of, of course, being killed and the system crashing uh, via blue screen of that. So uh, let's examine the crash dump. Even before looking at the code, we can see that the bug check info is already visible here. So you can already um, see from here that, it, that the system crashed because a critical system process died. It tells uh, the whole story basically. But let's look at the code. Also, one thing which is interesting, if you don't know which uh, system you're inspecting, you can use the uh, physical memory uh, analysis, which is here. It's just a child object. You can click on it and it will try to understand which kind of uh, system it is. And you see it's a Windows 10 2004 version x64. So you can of course inspect the address spaces and so in also in uh, uh, physical memory. This is physical memory analysis. So you could do the same analysis if you have, for instance, a raw dump of memory. In this case, it's not necessary because this is a, um, a crash dump and we can go uh, and click on the native code here. So it will take a second because it will uh, try to load all the modules in memory. And after it has finished, we can see uh, the call stack uh, is only about um, Entos kernel and we can load the, the PDB. Not that we need in this case, but just to give you an idea. Uh, you just download and load this PDB. You can also, of course, download and load all PDBs, but it is not necessary for our use case. So we download and load. It will load all the symbols. And once it has loaded all the symbols, you can see now we have a populated call stack. Um, you have exception info, we can go to the exception. It is the uh, kbug check X of course, because we crashed with a blue screen of that. Uh, in this case, we don't need of course to decompile, but we have the decompiler if you need to. Uh, we switch to single view mode, Control alt s to have only the information we need. And the bug check info is redundant. It's also present here so that you can um, see it also here. And again, it tells us that a critical process died. In this case, uh, we see, of course, we see also the description of the parameters. Uh, it tells us that the first parameter passed to key bug check X is uh, the process object. We can copy that and we can, um, if we want to inspect the memory, we can do so. We go to the memory and we go to the address. And this is the uh, data of the process. And if we want to examine it, we can load the header. In this case, uh, I've already loaded it because um, I, uh, I already was analyzing Windows 10 crash dumps. So if we press on Control Alt M, or let's say you go here and you press on Layout Add Structure, um, you can load an e-process structure, which is the first parameter of the key back check X and it will mark this as our structure. And if we go on the inspector, we can see the parameters of this, I mean the fields of the structure. So we can see at a certain point, we have image file name and it's uh, service host. So this is the process which crashed. 